right, Greenleaf fans. Now, in this upcoming episode, the third day, we know that AJ is actually going to speak with Grace based on the preview, and he says the line, there's something I need to tell you, but I don't want to talk about it. And I've already done a video about that. But before going any further in this one, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And please like the video by hitting thumbs up. Now, it seems to me that we know that Sophia is going to the hospital room to talk with AJ. I'm willing to bet that Sophia is the first person AJ allows to see him. And I don't know exactly what he's going to tell Sophia, but I'm willing to bet that Sophia gets through to him somehow. And as a result, he actually allows Grace to come back to see him. Now, I don't really know if he'll do anything with Noah, but I do know Sophia being Sophia, she'll find a way to lighten up AJ to the point where he will at least allow Grace to see him and go from there. But kind of like, not in a jokey fashion, but I think I mentioned this when I was talking with Chandler or my episode review or something. But I'm like, yeah, parents being parents, like, even if I, even though I'm an adult, if I said I don't want to see anybody, but it's like they're paying for the hospital room and everything, you're darn right. I mean, that's one, that's a very valid question. It's like, I'm pretty sure AJ doesn't have insurance. So, I mean, who's paying for his hospital stay? So I get if he doesn't want to see anybody, it was like, uh, doctor, I know it's hospital policy, but my name is on the paperwork. I'm paying the bill. I'll be damned if that boy is going to tell me I'm not going to go into the room I paid for. Like, I, I'm not trying to say that in a jokey fashion, but I'm going to be real here. If that was my parents, I know that's exactly how it would go down. But all that's to say, I think Sophia will break through. Um, She'll t talk to AJ. I'm not saying AJ is going to tell Sophia everything about himself in terms of why he did what he did and whatnot. But um, the, the interesting thing about this is AJ is in a situation where he can't just run away. It's almost like every time somebody, and if anybody watched Guardians of the Gal Galaxy 2 when Yondu pretty much told off Rocket Raccoon about how I'm you and you're me. He's like, anytime somebody shows you a little bit of love, you just want to run away. That's literally AJ. Anytime someone shows him a little bit of affection, love, and basically, I'm guessing, feelings and treatment that he's never received before in his life. He wants to just run away. He packs up that book bag or whatever and decides to leave. But in this situation, he's kind of stuck because eventually he'll have to talk with somebody. And I think Sophia is going to be the person to make him open up enough where he can talk with someone. And like I said before, I would not be surprised if the cliffhanger ending or at least the final scene or damn near close to the end of the episode is when Grace goes into the room to talk with AJ. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As I mentioned before, give this video a thumbs up. Social media links are in the description below. Also, thank you all. The Instagram page hit 21,000 followers. So thank you all for that success. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, which is not mandatory but appreciated, feel free to hit me up on PayPal or Cash App. Or if you want to, you can join my Patreon for as little as one, literally $1 a month. That's $12 a year. You'll get content on Patreon. You won't get on YouTube. And even though I don't post on Patreon as much as I should, my six patrons, or at least five out of the six because only five contacted me back, they all got a free Tyler Perry DVD. Yes, they did. And even on my Instagram, that's why you need to follow me. I'm not just saying follow me to get my numbers up, but um, there are giveaways I do. Like, since I was at home for the 4th of July weekend, I actually bought... Um, sorry. Sorry, I had my TV on mute. I was trying to cut the TV off and I hit the wrong button. But I have over 20 Tyler Perry DVDs that are still brand new in the plastic. I am going to give away over the next few weeks here because it is Christmas in July. I do have like a bunch of the Medea Christmas plays and I'd love to give them away. I know they're on BET Plus, but not, everybody, not everyone has BET Plus. So why pay $9.99 a month to watch plays when all you got to do is hit follow and have a shot at winning a free DVD from me. I'm just saying. You ain't got to do it, but I'm just saying. You get free content and free gifts. Hey, it is what it is. But follow me if you want to. If you don't, that's cool. Join my Patreon for as little as a dollar. There are multiple tiers, but a dollar is as low as I can go. And literally, it is a dollar a month. One dollar, twelve dollars a year. That's twelve dollars a year, which is, well, more content you'll get than... $9.99 a month on BET Plus. 
Support black business, guys. That's all I'm saying. So thanks so much for tuning into my nonsense here. But I'll talk to you all in the next video.